we decided today that we were not going to eat out at all and then we were driving and we found a Tim Hortons. I literally did not know there were Tim Hortons in the US. So we need to get Tim Hortons because that's what they're famous for. I've never heard of that, but I sure. Think they're like little donut holes. We'll get them. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to guess this is a Timbit. Yeah. We got a box of assorted Timbits. Um, we got a coffee and an avocado toast, but it said it came with everything but the bagel seasoning it and it definitely nice. didn't. So, so this Lily, is probably not going to be that great. It's and it, yeah, literally just avocado. So toast. we'll see if it's any better than the Dunkin Donuts avocado toast we had because that wasn't very good. No, it's literally just avocado on toast. <laughs> when this car gets all the bread is up. better than the Dunkin Donuts avocado toast. Okay. And we'll try. I'll try the coffee, even though I don't like coffee. It smells good. They had one we decided we wanted after we had ordered. It was a red velvet cold brew and it looked awesome. Lilith. It's not too hot. Oh, it's really good though. Yeah, I don't normally like coffee. Lily, why are you being so intense? The donuts look good too. Like the donuts at Dunkin' Donuts were like dry and gross, like grocery store donuts. Oh, the but coffee look good. is really good. Yeah, it's like really good. I like the coffee. I'm gonna get, I think this is a sour cream one. Mm hmm. I'll give you a donut in a little bit, okay? Not right now though. Really soft and good. I yeah. like these. So I like this better than Dunkin' Donuts. It's definitely comparable to Krispy Kreme. Because we never understand why people go to Dunkin' Donuts over Krispy Kreme. Like Dunkin' Donuts donuts literally taste like grocery store donuts. And yeah, and it wasn't too expensive. I think we spent $10 on everything. Mm -hmm. The most expensive thing was the avocado toast. But so far we haven't had one luck. Of these Timbits in there. Yeah, the sprinkly one. So far we haven't had luck with avocado toast anywhere. Let me do a we're driving in Indianapolis and we're on this road, uh, we just passed it, but it was literally, they turned the shoulder into part of the road, but they left the rumble strip in the middle of it. So for like five minutes, it was going because we were on a freaking rumble strip in the middle of the road because they turned a side lane into a road. So we decided, the one we really wanted to get was this cornbread one. Uh, I am disappointed by the amount of frosting on it though. The other ones we weren't too excited about. They did have a lemon one, but it was out of stock when we got there and that would have been really good. So instead we got the Chips Ahoy blue cookie, the Almond Joy kind of cookie, and the Reese's, or no, the Snickers cookie. So these three we weren't really excited about. I'm also disappointed that there's not tons of frosting on that one, but this is the one we wanted to try. So that's the one we will try. Alrighty, we're gonna try the cornbread one first. Mm. Here's your piece of cornbread cookie because that is the one we were wanted to get. The other one we really want to try is the fry bread cookie, but we haven't seen it yet. It's got like a honey butter frosting. It's good. I really like this one. It's uh, really soft, like like the softest cornbread you've ever ate. It literally tastes like they mix sugar and butter together. Like it's just a buttercream frosting. Lily, no cookie for you. Yeah, that's awesome. Because we both like sweet cornbread. Yeah, it's really good. And you, there is cornmeal in there. You can taste it. It's like cornmeal-y. <laughs> it's like a cornmeal bread mixed with a sugar cookie. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, the next one to try is the Blue Monster cookie. It's just a Chips Ahoy. Um, I wasn't too excited about this one because it's just a chocolate chip cookie, but maybe it'll be really good. It's chilled. I don't know why it's chilled. I don't like that. So well, it's kind of really stiff. Yeah, it's like really hard. Um, it tastes good though. I'm really, the frosting is like a weird, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't really like it. It kind of tastes like you took um, like a store-bought like chips of like kind of cookie, put cheap like uh, Pillsbury frosting on it and then stuck it in a fridge. Like, I don't know. It doesn't taste very good. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna try the Almond Joy kind of cookie. This one I think I'll really like. I don't really love chocolate, but I love Almond See, Joy. See, and that's why I didn't really want to get it because I don't like chocolate, but it does look like a brownie batter cookie, and I do like those. It's disappointing. It's you, can't, you can't taste the coconut. There's like almost no coconut on top. Um, 
and I really like coconut, so it just tastes like a brownie without frosting. Yeah, it's like a bland, like they didn't sweeten the brownie. Told you we should have bought two cornbread yeah. cookies. Oh wait, this one I'm having a very hard time getting out of the container. This this one is the Butterfinger one and it's super soft. It's literally crumbling. It's crumbling like that's it. Yeah. And I'm not a big fan of peanut butter because it gives me heartburn, so. Nope, we should have got all cornbread. Yep. Yeah, that one just tastes like a generic peanut butter cookie. The cornbread one is amazing. The rest of them, not so much. Yeah, not so much. Maybe the next one will have the lemon one and we can get two lemons and two cornbread. I do like we had a strawberry lemonade or raspberry lemonade last time we did crumble cookies. And uh, it was really good. That was our favorite one last time. I don't think it's gonna show up, but we're like driving and there's like little um, comets, asteroids. asteroids or comets or whatever in the sky. Comets, I guess. There's like six or seven of them. They just look like um, little jet streams, but they're all over. There was supposed to be an asteroid shower yesterday, last night. Yeah. But these must be like leftovers. Yeah, just ones that are left behind. Because there's like six or seven of them. They're really hard to see though. It's weird though because they're not all going the same direction. Like one is going that way and one's going that way and then there's like one going this way and one going that way. So they're clearly like just wherever the heck they wanted to feel like going. You're being annoying. You're being annoying. The dog has decided that every time I get out of bed to go to the bathroom, she has to come and steal my spot. So I have about an inch of space and Lily's also losing her mind because somebody walked by the car. So she's doing, she's freaking out about that and trampling me. Why do you have bad manners? And then Babu is like, I don't even know if I can skip Babu. Where is the Bab? Right. I see a Babu. <laughs> the Babu. She's asleep. She wants to sleep with Lily, but Lily doesn't want to sleep with her. And that's because what Babu does is Babu will crawl over to Lily crawl underneath her head and then start biting Lily's face off because Lily's head is touching her. So that's why Babu is not sleeping with Lily because Babu is dumb and has no manners either. Why don't you like to share with your sister? Why does she bite your face off? Here's our daily dose of Lily being mad about something. Uh, she thinks we're forgetting to take her to the doggy park because we always go to the Love's Doggy Park in the morning but there's an actual dog park five minutes away. So we're going to the actual dog park. So she's trying to remind us to take her to the doggy park. We're going, I swear. We're going to a nice one where you can play with actual dogs. We're at a Cracker Barrel parking lot today and it's a really awesome spot. It's like got this big hill here. So it's super private feeling and the hill goes all the way down there. So we're in like this weird little corner. We've got like our own little yard. And then um, there's like literally nobody else in this parking lot. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is a pretty nice spot. The only downside of the Cracker Barrels is um, if you have to pee in the middle of the night, you can't because they're closed. So. So, I'm making the pee bucket. so mom is making the pee bucket just in case we have to pee. It's just, I don't know if we've shown it. It's just a little bucket and we put pine pellets in it. And that is what it and is. And you soak it up so there's no liquid. Yeah, like so even if Lily decides to knock it over, it's powder and you can vacuum it up. She hasn't done that yet, she but she will. Done it, but she will by the end of the trip. <laughs> the lid on it, and we've only had to use it, I think, twice in the entire month and a half we've been gone. Yeah, because we that pretty was much when we camped at um, places without bathroom. Yeah, so we're pre it's pretty pretty simple. There's like more complicated ways you can do it, but.